this morning in the Queen City, where Burlington City Council voted last night to extend their lease with the Vermont Air National Guard. The Guard still has 25 years left on their contract, ending in 2048. But to get federal money to unlock capital investments, the federal government needs Guard leases to last more than 25 years. After two hours of public comment, the City Council voted 8-4 to four to extend the contract until 2073. Our Lucy Kale was at the meeting last night. Investments include $32 million in construction of new net zero buildings and $7.7 .7 million in renewable energy and clean heating projects. Those for the extension of the lease listed the economic benefits of it. I think we should all be proud to have the F-35 in our neighborhood. Vitang is a critical economic driver providing 1,100 jobs accounting for $62 million a year and pay and benefit. It's also vital to our workforce pipeline for revolutionary companies like Beta and more. Colonel Laura Capoto with the Vermont Air National Guard says she's been flying for years. She also teaches ground school for new pilots at Beta Technologies. She voiced her approval of the extension. Beta relies on the VTANG in a host of ways, so that partnership is really important. The Guard is also signing a memorandum of understanding with the city, which includes promises to continue with sound mitigation programs, green initiatives, including simulator time with the F-35s, to cut down on noise impacts. The noise impacts are what a lot of people oppose the lease brought to the table. I just think the F-35 is too loud. Negative impacts of these planes target working class and minority civilians. Noise remediation, as one resident put it, entombs people in their homes and does nothing to make the outdoors habitable. Others commented that the noise was more than just a nuisance, but a public health hazard. This is really an issue for looking out for the greatest investment that we can have in our communities, which is in our future generations. Democrat Ben Travers says he has concerns about the impact of the F-35s, but believes the council should extend the lease for the significant benefits of having the Air Guard base. I think it would be short-sighted sighted of us to, uh, to make a, a decision now solely based on the F-35s rather than looking at us in terms of the long-term benefits. However, other councillors in the Progressive Caucus are not so confident. Councillor Gene Bergman says he will not support the lease extension in its current form. He hopes the federal government will be searching for other types of missions instead of the current F-35 ones. I have put in a, um, a motion to ask the um, congressional delegation to change the, f the, the mission from the F-35s to either a flying or non-flying mission that is more compatible and less harmful um, to our communities. Lucy Kale, Channel 3 News.